Go High Level as it stands is one of the most powerful CRM based platforms on the market. Not to mention you can white label it with your own logo and branding and resell it to clients for a profit month over month over month. They are constantly adding new features into the platform and today is no exception with the team releasing over 60 plus new features which have just been released and I've gone ahead and read through every single one of them to pick out the top 10 features which I believe are going to be the most useful for you as a either agency owner or a go high level SaaS reseller. Now I wanna mention that if you were looking at this updates list and it feels extremely overwhelming, that is completely understandable, but I wanna tell you that over probably about 85% of the updates are more or less just upgrades that needed to happen to make the platform better or more user friendly. These top 10 features that I'm gonna tell you about are gonna be the ones that you will actually use on a day-to-day -day basis or the things that you will want to let your clients know about that are now active in their platform. And a cool thing is that some of these new features, you will actually be able to now again, resell and make a massive profit from. It is insane. So let's get into it. We're gonna jump into the computer. I'm gonna quit yapping and we're gonna go over the top 10 new features that have just been released. Starting off with number one, which is going to be a massive competitor to Uphex, which Uphex, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a third party install that you can put into your high level platform that allows people to use uh, Facebook ad templates and then run them without needing to go to the Facebook ads manager. Now high level, as they do, they basically made this now internally where you can now run ads, manage ads, create audiences, and now create templates inside of the ads manager within high level, which now you don't need to pay for something like Uphex, which is I believe their base plan was like 97 bucks a month. If we see this right here, this is the ad manager template library integration. So basically now you can quite literally just create, um, create meta ads inside of your Go High Level platform and be able to create the ads as templates. So you can set the audience, set the targeting, set the creative, put in the copy, make it into a template, and then offer that to your other sub accounts when people onboard. So if you get a client that's in, for example, right here, solar, then you can give them a template library of like 30 or 40 different solar meta ads that they can just click and run. All right, and our second feature is gonna be the ability to now run webinars inside of funnels. You can either do them live or automated. Now to get to this, you're just gonna go back to your dashboard, go down to sites, and then under sites, you're gonna see a brand new tab right here called webinars. If you just click into that, you're gonna see webinar funnels. Go ahead and make your first webinar funnel, and then you get to select on demand or a live webinar. On demand webinar says right here, create a webinar funnel for a pre-recorded on demand webinar, or which is really interesting now, you can do a live webinar, which a live webinar creates a webinar funnel for a live stream webinar. I think I literally just said webinar probably 20 times. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, literally select which one you want, go through the steps, build out your webinar funnel, and you are good to go. This is super cool because it replaces a ton of different platforms like Webinar Jam, uh, ClickFunnels, and I think there's a couple other platforms that offer this, and they specifically are just for webinars. And now you can do this inside of High Level, allowing you to also now have another product that you can offer to your clients or go ahead and sell this as a SaaS to be able to basically sell funnels and webinars to users. And now for our third update, you are now gonna be able to create your own dashboards within the 297 high level plan. Previously, it was restricted for only people that had the $497 per month plan. But now if you're on the 297, you can also do this. So if you wanna customize your dashboard, go to your dashboard here into your sub account. In the top right corner, you'll see a pencil icon. You can go ahead and rearrange your dashboard however you want. And now you can actually drag and drop and just move these around. Uh, that looks terrible, don't do that, cancel. But very soon you should be able to reorder your menu items here in this left side panel. So if you wanted payments on top of opportunities, you can move these around and you'll be able to kind of organize that, that menu list however you would like to organize it. Which I think is just a cool feature that should just be there. I think that's cool. All right, and for the fourth major feature update, you are now able to customize your opportunity cards. So head on down to opportunities and then where you see your pipelines, you can now see that we have business name, opportunity source, and opportunity value. Now this can be customized so you can put as much detail as you would like so that when you look at your pipeline, you don't need to click into it like we did previously where you had to click on this and then you would have to actually go through the information to figure out where this lead came from, any other details you wanted about that lead, you'd have to click on the opportunity card. Now you can just quick glance at it and you can put whatever details you want 
right there on the card. And you can customize that by going here to the top right under manage fields. Now you can see what details you wanna show. All right, and feature number five coming in hot, we have automatic preset reminders and notifications for calendars. Go under the settings of the calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one. And under notifications and additional options, you will now see all of these options right here where you can set these pre-made templates to set up your reminders. If you want to modify what these reminders look like, you can go click on these three dots right here, hit edit. In order to edit them, you will need to enable it. So we'll go ahead and have that enabled. And then right here under the contact, this is where you can modify the email. Now you can also create an email template and then attach that template into here, which is what I would suggest you do. I wouldn't use this pre-built look. I would go make an email template from scratch um, and then go ahead and attach that to these reminders. So it has your logo and branding and anything else you wanna add on there. That's gonna be customized to your client. Now for our next one, we have an update to the social planner, which now allows high level users or your clients that are on your SaaS accounts to post to their social media accounts and schedule content from the mobile app. Previously, you had to go into the high level desktop app in order to access the social planner. Now you can do that straight from your mobile phone. Next up, we have a massive improvement to messaging. I've kind of categorized it under messaging. I think that would make sense. You have internal team chat, similar to Slack, group SMS, internal notes, and you can tag staff members. So the reason this is insane is like basically what I just said here, it's, it's like Slack, right? So previously, if you had a team, they either had some kind of iMessage group chat or they would go into Slack and they would have communications. But now every single sub account, those staff members that are added in that account can now communicate internally with their own chat. Okay guys, this next one is massive. And I think there are gonna be a lot of people that will capitalize on this. And honestly, I think there's a lot of money to be made off of this. Previously, you had to use a bunch of third-party platforms in order to do what we're about to do inside of High Level. And yes, it uses artificial intelligence. So in order to find this new feature, we're gonna go down to settings and right down here, we're gonna see AI agents. Go ahead and click on that. This is where you can make a new AI agent. You can go ahead and name your agent, give it your business name, and then you can find a voice for that agent. So you're probably wondering, what is an AI agent? When somebody calls a client or your business number, you can now train an AI to pick up the phone and talk back and forth with that contact. You can go up here and you can change the voice. So this is Samantha, teen and focused. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. That is crazy. They sound really good too. Love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worthwhile. I'm not gonna lie, I am 100% gonna have a UK dude calling. Okay, so once you've set these base level settings, now you can go to agent goals. And this is where you can kind of customize it even further. We can tell it to collect details from the contact, like their name, email, address, and their contacts issue. Um, and then you can also switch to advanced mode, where now you have complete control of the prompt that you're feeding the AI. So if you have specific goals in mind, or you want the AI to do something very specific, then you can go ahead and train that right here. Set up your actions. You can do a call transfer, trigger workflow, update contact field, or send a text message. Once that call is over, the AI will transcribe that call and then give you a summary of that call with the key information. And you can send that to either yourself or specific users um, or the contacts assigned users. So anywhere right here, you can go ahead and just send that transcript and that summary to whoever you need to send it to so that they can then take over the call or the sale from there, okay? So for $127 a month added on, you basically will now be able to have unlimited AI usage across the entire account. So it's not just for the, for the agent AI or voice AI. This is for all of the AI features. $127 a month, I'm very much assuming that we're gonna be able to resell that and rebuild it on the higher level agency account. So if you can go to a business that's struggling with their calls and they're not very consistent with picking up the phone and you say, hey, uh, yeah, 497, and we'll basically give you an AI agent that will pick up the phone for you and it will answer the calls, it will talk to your contacts and your customers, it will, understand, it will get their name, their email, what their problem is, and then when they tell them the problem, we'll go ahead and send that to a staff member and then they can go ahead and call them and then fix, this, fix the problem. Like, 
great, something simple like that. So on the free plan right now, if you do not have that, the upgraded plan, then you do have 10 minutes uh, of basically free usage per day. So that's all you get. Not something that you can scale, but something you could at least play with and uh, try it out. And coming in for the ninth update is gonna be email blacklisted monitoring or AKA email bounce classification. So basically now it's just gonna give you a whole bunch of more information about why your emails are bouncing. This I think is just a good one for if you're doing like cold email or if your client has a bunch of email automations and you're wondering why your emails aren't sending properly or people aren't opening them because they're likely just going to spam. So this will help you get a little bit more information about that. Um, before I feel like it was more like people were just shooting in the dark and people didn't understand it. So this will at least kind of clear the fog a little bit and give you a little bit more information about why you're landing in spam or why your emails are not sending. Let's get into the final thing, which is gonna be custom objects. I'm gonna show you just how to get to it real quick. All you have to do is go down to settings and then you're gonna see right here below other settings, you're gonna see objects. So you can go ahead and create your object right here. You can create an association. Here you can go ahead and make a single association. You can also pair associations together Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to do a full deep dive video into how to use this and why it's so powerful. Um, so let's wait for that. I will make a complete video on that, but we now have custom objects. So if you're familiar with it, boom, it's there. It's awesome. Uh, it's definitely been needed. So that is 10 of my favorite new updated features. And by the way, if we just take a look here real quick and look at the change log, there are more updates that are still dropping right now. So I don't think a lot of these are major, major changes that you like need to know how to use. A lot of them are just kind of like feature updates or they're just upgraded versions of what we already had, which is good. It is great. It means that they are constantly trying to make the platform better, which I'm all about that. I love it. Now, if you guys did find the video to be helpful, I hope it did help you and hopefully you are not as stressed anymore. I have an entire resource of custom CSS code that I built for Go High Level users and agencies. I have code that allows you to customize your dashboard, customize your login portal, and I have a whole resource, a bunch of customizations you can do to your funnels and your websites. Go over there, grab some cool stuff. There's also free goodies in there if you wanna grab something for free, go for it. Um, and that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.